I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Alive and well. Um, barely. <laughs> so I, first of all, I'm coming to you with a Dollar Tree haul. So yay for that. I look awful. It's fine. It'll be fine. You'll see me looking more put together some point this week. But right now, this is what you get. This is what you get. <laughs> anyway, um, in a nutshell, I've been sick as a dog. Um, Tina, thank you for checking on me. Sending me Facebook messages going, are you okay? <laughs> um, so I appreciate you. Thank you for checking on me. Um, I'm okay. So, like, basically... Um, I woke up Thursday with an excruciating headache, like an unbelievable headache. I don't get migraines. I don't ever get sick. I haven't been sick since I had COVID two years ago. Other than allergies, sinus, asthma, that's just my life. But as far as being sick, I haven't been sick since I had COVID. I don't really get sick very often. And so I woke up Thursday morning and I was like, oh my God, like... Okay, I'm gonna drink some coffee. I'm gonna take some Midol. I'll be fine. Um, I have to be at work at nine. I got to work at nine, and by eleven, I was, I was done. Like, I went into the bathroom, and I came out of the bathroom, and I guess I was pale. Like, and um, a couple of the girls at work said, "Are you okay?" <laughs> and I said, "No, I'm not okay." And I felt dizzy. I felt like I was gonna throw up. I. I don't, my stomach was hurting. I couldn't, I could not function. I, I, I told Maggie, I said, I gotta go home. I got, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta go home. So that was Thursday morning at 11. I got home, I was in bed by 11.30 and um, stayed there writhing in pain. It was the weirdest thing. And um, could not, I was debilitated all day Thursday. And I was like, okay. So I guess I have a migraine. I don't know. I think I've had one migraine in my whole life. Um, before I left work, I took a COVID test. And then um, when I got home, I have like four COVID tests, you know, that the government sends you. I took another COVID test. So both of my COVID tests came back negative. Um, but anyway, I stayed in bed <laughs> Thursday, Thursday night. And I thought, well, I'll just wake up Friday morning and I'll be good. I've had a migraine and it's so bad it's making me sick. I woke up Friday morning, no go, no go. Saturday morning, no go, no go. I mean, Thursday, I had to get up and make myself go to Riley's graduation because I wasn't missing that. And I pushed through, that took about three hours, and I pushed through and um, came home and I've been in bed. Um, so I was down Thursday, down Friday. Yesterday I started perking up a little bit um, but was down again. I was up and down yesterday. You know how you get up and you you're kind of uh, and throughout the day you start feeling better and then in the evening you start crashing again. That's how yesterday was. And I was like, I gotta go to work on Monday. I've already missed Thursday. I've missed Friday. I've missed Saturday. I've I gotta go to work. And um, I was just like, well, hopefully Sunday morning I'll wake up and I'm okay. Well, I woke up this morning, no headache. <laughs> And I just woke up going, thank you, God. Thank you, God. So I don't know. Today is the first time in four days that I don't have a... It was debilitating. It was a three-day crippling, make-you-sick-to-your-stomach migraine. That's never happened to me in my whole life, ever. And it all started right here, and it went around to the sides, and then it worked its way up to the top. It was the weirdest, and I thought, oh my God, I've got COVID again. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing COVID again. That's a no for me. No, no, we're not doing that. I got a Coke from McDonald's. That's so good. McDonald's has the best Coke. Anyway, um, I have no idea what it was, but I'm okay. I'm okay today. Um, the only thing I might think it might be is I have a strict... A medicinal regimen every single day and that is my Singulair which is my lung pill my Zizol which is my antihistamine um, 
those are the two those are the two pills I have to have every single day in order to breathe and function well I ran out of my Zyzol about six days ago no big deal it's happened to me before I've run out of my Zyzol I cannot run out of my singular I cannot run out of that lung pill I can't um, or I can't breathe um, my antihistamine just helps the singular work better and it keeps my asthma at bay so that my lungs don't close it keeps my allergies at bay, so my asthma doesn't kick up, so my lungs don't close. It, if you know anything about allergy-induced asthma, you know what I'm talking about. So, you can take your lung pill without your antihistamine, but it doesn't work as well. Whatever, whatever. Long story short, I didn't have my antihistamine for like six days. I keep them in and to grab some, grab some, grab some. We've been so busy, like crazy busy, that I just haven't stopped to get my antihistamine. So the only thing I can think of is I didn't have my antihistamine. I had PMS like you wouldn't believe. And both of those combined and the weather in Oklahoma has been pouring rain and just crap falling from the trees. And I think all of that combined might have been my problem. I don't know. It would, I've never had anything like that happen to me before, but I'm fine. So that's it, enough about me. I'm good, I'm golden, I'm back. I'm sorry I look like hell. It's fine, it's what we're doing. love that burn. <laughs> I love that burn from a Coke from McDonald's. Okay, I have a kind of a fun little Dollar Tree haul. Thanks for listening to me whine. In case you were wondering where I was at, that's where I was at. I'm good. I'm golden. I'm back on the horse. Back at work tomorrow. I woke up this morning so freaking grateful. Okay, here's what we got. I went to the Dollar Tree to get soap. <laughs> and here we are, $25 later. Um, okay, we're just going to start from the beginning. Um, the soap I got, I got the Yardley English Lavender. I was watching Coupon and Girl this morning. I was watching her this morning, and she bought some Yardley lotion because she was putting a little gift bag together for a friend of hers. And um, I'm on a lavender kick. Sometimes I like lavender, sometimes I don't, but I love it right now. So, um, it just it's like... It's like Coke. You gotta be in the mood for it. Like, I think I want a big fat Coke. I usually don't ever drink pop. But every once in a while, I want a big fat Coke. Lavender's the same way. There's that. Um, Yardley Frosted Cranberry. I have no idea what. I can't really, it's, that's a very faint smell. Um, I needed toothpaste. I don't like Crest. I like Colgate. So I got Colgate Deep Clean. Um, penetrates between teeth for a rush of clean. Yay for that. There's that. Um, I'm just going to set this stuff right here on my floorboard. Uh, I also found Lever 2000. <laughs> Two bars for $1.25. Um, so the Dollar Tree that I went to, uh, we have Dollar Trees all over Tulsa Broken Arrow. At Jinx everywhere out here. There's a Dollar Tree on freaking almost every corner. Some of them have um, got the $5, $3 and $5 products in them and some don't. This one did. Um, I didn't buy anything off the $5 aisle. This time I didn't see anything I needed, but, and you gotta be careful. Some things on the three and $5 aisle, you can get cheaper at Walmart. Yes, ma'am, you can. Anyway, they'll, they'll fool you. Um, so anyway, got the lever. My mom used to buy lever all the time when we were growing up. Takes me back. Um, Carmex, good old fashioned Carmex. Who doesn't love Carmex? Especially, look, we're going to open this up. Especially in the little container. You guys, this is so 1990s high school. Everybody had Carmex. If you were somebody, you had Carmex in your purse. Okay, you just did. I haven't bought Carmex mm, in a long time. Love that. Mm. Yes, please. We're going to put that... Guys, this is the best little thing I ever did. Remember me showing you this little bag that I just put stuff in? So I have my little clipper set in there, which I've used the file. I've got lotion, hand sanitizer, lip balm. Um, I've got a little charger cube, and now my Carmex. Best little thing ever. Freaking love this. Along with um, antibacterial travel wipes, toothbrush picks, and armor all. Oh, I need a box of Kleenex. 
Okay, and then I got this little Dove uh, Nourishing Body Care Beauty Cream. Love that. And then um, this is a lavender scented warming eye mask. Get in my basket. Get in my basket. So with the horrible, awful three days that I had, um, I wish I would have had this while I had my migraine. <laughs> um, for any of you out there who deal with migraines, I my heart goes out to you. I would rather have a baby. At least you get in, get out, you have a baby, you're done with it. This is like three days of torture. Three days of torture. If you deal with migraines, I am so, so sorry. Oh. Um, anyway, this is a warming eye mask. Apparently, um, you put it on as soon as you, re immediately after removing it from the package, and once exposed to the air, the mask starts to heat up. Place the mask over your closed eyes with the pattern side facing out and wait for one minute for the eye mask to warm up. Relax and enjoy the warmth and calming lavender scent of mask until temperature cools down. I don't know if it's gonna last 30 seconds, 30 minutes. I don't know, but I'm having that. We will see how that works, okay? Have I told you guys I love my minivan? I'm still loving it. I am still loving it. And let me tell you what, it has come in handy. Freaking love it. Okay, the next thing I found was Evolve Oven Baked Dog Biscuits for the puppies. I thought that'd be fun. Um, peanut butter and berry flavor. No corn, no wheat, no soy, no artificial colors flavor, no artificial preservatives. Peanut butter and berry flavor latte biscuits. Of course, my dogs are like garbage disposals. They'll eat anything. Um, I got a couple Mike and Ikes because Wyatt loves these. And um, Anytime I'm out, he asked me to pick him up. Well, he's asked me a few times, not every time. Um, he didn't ask me this time, but if I see him, I grab him because you can't find him everywhere. And Dollar Tree was loaded up with all the flavors. Um, Sugar-free strawberry wafers, found those, yum, I'll have that. Um, thin shortbread dark chocolate cream cookies, I'm sorry, what? Yes, please. Um, this is a purchase that Tyler Ramey made me do it, and we're going to go ahead and open it right now. So I was watching him this morning also, and he did a Dollar Tree haul, and he had taste test things going on. Well, the lady at the register, little bitty, tiny, itty bitty, little tiny thing, she's like, those are good. You're going to love them. How did she know I've never had one before? I don't know. And she's like, you're going to love them. And I'm like, okay. And she goes... The first time I ever had one was in Belgium. I said, this same brand? And she said, yes, same brand in Belgium. And she said, I looked for them everywhere when I came to America and I couldn't find them anywhere. She said, and then I started working at Dollar Tree and here they are. She discovered these in Belgium. Tyler Ramey said they're good. She said they're real soft and they're not too sweet. And she said they have strawberry and they have chocolate. This is just a cream fill. Really, she said the croissant is soft. It smells like heaven. Oh. Okay. We're going to bust it open. Uh, by the way, Tyler, this morning when I was watching your video, I was like, please rip that thing open in the middle. Please tear that open in the middle. I want to see what the cream looks like. Let's give it a whirl. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop. I'm going to need you to stop. Three hundred and forty calories, so we're only gonna eat a little bit. Okay, it's good. Mm. She's right; it's not too sweet.
I made a roast carrots potatoes in the crock pot yesterday and it's on the stove because me and Wyatt reheated it so I just left it on for Shane. He's been gone all day. He just sent me a text <laughs> that said, baby, this roast is banging. <laughs> I know. You're welcome. So that's intense. As far as, sorry, I spit. You only need to eat half of it. Seven days, soft croissant. What does that mean, seven days? I'm gonna have to Google that. It's good. It's good. I don't need any more, but it's good. Poison, pure poison. But don't worry. I felt so good this morning, I walked two miles and ran about a quarter of it. Quarter ain't much, but it's something. Okay. Um, I got some Eclipse gum for this. For this. Right here is my cubby hole where I put all the things. This is trash. My glass is in trash. Okay. Secrets. Secret hole. Okay. And then I found these. And why it's all the time cooking. Gourmet burger seasoning. What? I'll have that. Yum. I was gonna grill burgers tonight, but it is, you guys, the humidity, you can cut with a knife here right now. It is so humid, and I just don't wanna stand over a hot grill, especially after just now feeling better. So, I guess we'll just eat bang and roast. I'm not even hungry now. Um, and then this other one is gourmet beer can chicken. Do I ever make beer can chicken? No. Have I made beer can chicken before? I think once. I think I did one time. Let's see. I'm not going to open the cookies right now because, well, I just ate, um, what's half of 320? 160, 160 calories worth of croissant and I'm drinking a Coke, which is another 200 calories. So that's what, 360 calories? Okay. The next thing I bought is this hose thing, hose attachment. Um, I buy one every year. Um, why do I need to buy one every year? I don't know, but I do because they only last for one season. One season. You get one season. That's all you get. Um, and the ones from the Dollar Tree are every bit as good as the $10 ones from the Walmart. Because the $10 one from the Walmart lasted me two seasons and it went kaput. And these last me one season. So I might as well just buy a new one every year at the Dollar Tree. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Um, I bought some potting soil. It's very dry potting soil and that's fine. Um, just got to water plants. I'm just using it to um, repot some sage. I started some um, sage seedlings and they're sprouted and I need to repot them and I needed soil so we're gonna repot them and hopefully that don't it doesn't go into shock and die. Um, look this is the last thing. I'm sorry how cute is he? Look at the little planter. What? So you guys know I already have the turtle. He's in my window and he's got greenery growing up out of him. And then I've got the fox um, in my kitchen window. That's the cutest thing you ever saw. And I need to give it to Dalton because Dalton, um, he's gotten really into growing plants and flowers and all that stuff. And um, Riley said every time he comes to the house, he always talks about how cute that fox is. And I need to give it to him. And I've got succulents growing out of that. Well, look at this one I found. <laughs> I can't. I can't. What? Stop. You put your little plant in there. <laughs> I love him so much. I love him so much. I love him so much. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. Nurse Shane texting me again. Will you get a Coke? I mean, I guess. But he's been out all day long. Sorry, I burped. He's been out all day long. And now he's like, will you give me a cup? 
Yes, boo boo. Whatevs. I'll get you a Coke. Okay. That's all I have. I just wanted to bring that Dollar Tree to you. I need to go to Bixby and get my inhaler, my prescription, but alas, I don't want to drive to Bixby, so I'll get it tomorrow on my way home from work. What am I doing now? I don't know. Straightening up my shorts, my t-shirt, getting comfortable. Where are we going? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to go home yet. I'll figure it out. Anyway, um, I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. And we will see you in the next video.